Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. In this video, we will uh, explain you 18 powerful Excel shortcut keys. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, these are the shortcut keys that I will explain you just in a few minutes. Just watch the video until the end. It will take three to four minutes. Okay, I will explain it fast. So the first shortcut key is that uh, Control plus Shift plus exclamation mark. Okay, uh, this shortcut is used whenever you would like to apply um, Format on the numbers. It means that to add decimal points and also the comma between uh, um, numbers. Okay, like this. For example, you have this number. Okay, you would like to apply format on this. Okay, to have two decimal points, or there is a number which has four or three decimal points. You want to decrease that to two. So for that, we will use Control plus Shift plus exclamation mark. Okay, see that has changed. Comma has added between three three numbers and also two decimal points. So it will format our number like this. And the second shortcut key, let's come here to the right side, control shift plus dollar sign. It will apply the currency format on your number. Okay, whenever you select an area, just um, use this shortcut to apply currency format. Okay, control shift plus dollar sign. CRS has applied. Okay, and the third shortcut key is control plus shift plus L. Whenever you would like to apply filter okay for example you would like to filter this data this is a table you want to filter it so for that we use control plus shift plus l okay to apply filter see the filter has turned on okay this is the filter so if you would like to remove it back control shift l press it back it will remove now come here again to the second row which is control plus back tick okay now we will learn okay control plus back tick is used whenever you have a function for example equal to sum uh, you have for example apply in this area close it you have a function okay in this cell okay, let's add something here you have a function you would like to show the function see the function okay in the area that you have selected so for that we use control plus back tick control select the function uh, cell control plus back cell let's check it that has increased the size but see this is the function and this is the area that we have selected okay it will show you the function in the area where you have selected now let's press it back control plus back tick and the fifth shortcut key is control plus if it is used to find okay use for the find and also for the replace find if you would like to find something just search it and find next or find all and also you can use the replace okay right here something to replace it okay uh, and for example I want to replace 34 and 40 uh, replace all all done okay all done okay 40 34 has changed to 40 now let's move to control plus shift plus F. okay whenever you want to display the font the advanced font options dialog box so for that we use control plus shift plus F. okay so let's press it can close control shift F. it will display as the advanced font uh, format cells okay whatever you want font change the font st size font style and font and other things that you want strike through superscript and whatever okay color change so you can apply all these things on your text and let's move to the sixth or seventh one which is control plus page down so page down will move us to the next sheet okay for example you have 10 20 30 sheets and you want to move forward to the next sheet so for that we use control plus page down let's press it control page down see we move to the second sheet okay control plus page down will move it as backward okay back see to the previous sheet okay control plus page up this is for forward for the next this is for the previous sheet and now let's move to the sh shift plus space bar it will select the whole row where you have selected for example I have selected here let's press shift plus space so it will select the whole row for us and also wherever you have selected control plus space bar will select that column control plus space bar so it will select that column for you uh, now let's move to the control plus arrow keys. Okay, we have four arrow keys um, uh, Up down the right and left side the right side. Okay control plus right side arrow key For example, you have selected here. So it will move you to the right side. Okay to the end of your table Control plus right side see we came directly to this a cell and control lift will move back to the start See control uh, up will move out to the top. Okay top control down will move out to the down See we came here to the down cell down area so it was about our control plus arrow keys now let's move to the control plus shift end to this um, uh, shortcut key 
Uh, this shortcut is used control shift n to select the all used cells okay the cells which are used it will select all those cells for us let's press control shift and see the whole use cells are uh, selected for us if you first here now let's check it out what happened see from this area where you have clicked from that area it will select the used cell see we have used these cells okay if you select here so it will select just this area we have used just these cells we have here uh, function something okay so it was about control plus shift plus end and now let's move to another shortcut key which is control shift down okay the control shift down is used to select all data from the active cell down to the end of the worksheet okay for example you have selected this it will select from this active cell to the end of the worksheet control shift down see in this table it will select this one okay again press it to the end of the um, table back top, top or okay okay let's click here control shift to the end of the worksheet okay let's select here control shift end we came to the start back the whole area the table back to the end of the worksheet if you select here control shift down aroki just until this down we don't have any uh, other things okay so it will select until the end of the sheet so this is the task of control plus shift plus down another shortcut key is alt plus down arrow key okay what it does whenever you have a drop down list so it will show you the drop down list for example right now we don't have the drop down list okay if you have let's press it okay alt down see right now we don't have drop down list if you have the drop down list so it will show you all the values of draw, uh, drop down list instead of pressing the button so it will show you easily now let's move to alt plus f11 this shortcut is used to create a chart okay from your data okay so to create a chart let's come here for example we have this data okay we want to um just uh, create a chart from this okay we will press alt plus 11 alt plus if uh, sorry alt close it that is um, the shortcut key is alt plus f11 okay just come here i think i pressed um no it is alt plus 11 just 11 okay without alt that is just select the um, alt okay so it will create a chart from your um, d data okay so let's now create it change it like this and another shortcut key is okay that uh, whenever you want to change the control plus enter uh, shortcut key this is used uh, to switch between rows and columns in chart data okay to switch between rows and columns for example this chart okay uh, let's press um, that is control plus enter so it will switch between rows and columns control plus enter So let's perform the second use of control plus shift okay it is used for example you have selected this area you want you whenever you write something here and you press control plus enter so it will fill all this selected area see it will fill all the area like for example you want to write uh, is equal to rand between okay for example 300 comma uh, 600 press control plus enter so it will fill that area okay through the those values another shortcut key is that alt plus h plus b plus a this is used to apply border all border okay for example you have selected this area first of all press alt then press h to home a tab then press b to border after that press a all border okay so it will apply all the border and control plus shift plus end is used to uh, apply outline for example you want this was the border okay if, but if you don't want the border you want the outline so let's i will show to you for example you have selected this area control shift and end so it will apply just outline see outline around that uh, selected area so it was all about the 18 shortcut keys i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching